Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Jen Hillman, and I welcome you to roll out your mat and follow along with me in this replay of my live yoga summer series. We are gonna be practicing a full body flow and giving a little extra love to some deep hip openers. So go ahead and like this video, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And when you're all set, Let's get ready to jump on the mat and dive into your practice. All right, let's begin in a nice comfortable seat. You can sit on a block or a blanket, anything you need to help yourself feel comfortable as you drop into your practice today. So set yourself up for success, have whatever props, whatever you need for a good practice today. And as you settle into a nice easy seat, begin to turn your attention inward. It's starting to tune in and notice the rhythm of your breath. Begin to observe the feeling of your body. Grounding and connecting in your seat. And give yourself this opportunity to fully arrive. So whatever happened before this moment, fading into the past. And whatever may happen after our practice today is somewhere in the future. So let your full presence, your full awareness, your full attention show up for yourself and for your practice. And we'll just start with some gentle movement, slowly rolling your head around. Just take it easy here in the beginning. This doesn't have to be even your biggest, juiciest head roll. Just beginning to invite a little bit of movement. And when you feel ready, you can begin to reverse direction, just finding a natural swing in the pendulum, helping you find that reverse flow, circling your head around the other way. When you feel complete, let your head just naturally find its way back up to center. Let's just circle the shoulders around here. Again, this doesn't have to be your biggest movement. It can be as slow or as fast as you like. <sighs> just let your breath continue to move freely. We can reverse directions as you're ready circling the shoulders the other way. Notice the difference here. And relax your shoulders down when you're ready. And just letting your hands relax gently onto your knees. We're just gonna gently begin to make some twists from right to left. Again, this can happen at your own pace. And we're not really worrying too much about technique or about form. It's really more about the movement. Inviting in some movement, particularly focusing on the thoracic in the rib cage. So we're really working in the upper and middle back. 
Mm, beautiful work. When you're ready, you can make your way back to center, slowly finding your way back to neutral. Then we're going to move into some seated cat and cows, starting to mobilize the whole spine. As you inhale your breath, lift your heart, lift your gaze, and even think about tipping your pelvis so you reach the tailbone back. Then as you exhale your breath, we reverse the curve, curling your tailbone under, rounding your head forward, get a good stretch into your back. So find your own natural rhythm and pace according to the flow of your breath, just rocking front and back in that seated cat and cow. <sighs> So just take a couple more rounds. Again, just moving in your own pace. Let it feel good. Just finding your best stretch, working out the kinks as you go. Then slowly make your way back up to your seat in your own time. Then bring the soles of your feet together and your knees open wide. If your hips are very tight, and your knees are way up here, try gliding your feet a little further out in front of you. That can help to make it a little easier to relax your legs down. Then holding on to your ankles, lift up out of your spine and roll your shoulders down your back. So your collarbones feel broad and open and you feel a little bit of ac action just there between the shoulder blades, kind of gliding the tips of your shoulder blades down and feel a sense of lift from the base of your seat all the way up through the crown of your head. Gently press your knees down towards the earth. So even though we're not moving and this is a static pose, when you really bring your full awareness and attention to the pose, we really begin to wake up the body. Take another inhale here, extending, reaching up, up, up through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, slowly soften and fold, gently rounding down over your legs. Take it nice and easy as you slowly relax the weight of your head down, down, down towards the earth until you feel a stretch along the back of your neck and maybe even coursing down the length of your spine. Let your shoulders round forward and breathe into your hips. You could feel this in your inner thighs or in your outer hips or even across your low back. Whatever sensation you are aware of, breathe and soften. And slowly, slowly begin to unroll your spine. Take it easy. Let it be a journey. As you slowly unfold, letting your head come back to center, your shoulders relax down. Then we are going to open your right leg off to the right side. And if you want to, you can kind of tuck the left heel in a little closer, just finding that perfect position that feels good to you. Now with that right leg extended off to the side, we wanna reach your toes up towards the sky and open that right leg enough that you start to feel a little gentle stretch along the inner right thigh. So we wanna feel it right here in your seat. Then circle your left arm up and over, working into a side body stretch. 
So you'll start to feel a stretch along the left side of your waist. Reach up and over through those left fingertips. So sometimes the left arm can be kind of lazy. We wanna actively reach, almost like you were gonna grab something over on the right side of the room. So we reach, reach, reach with that left arm, really waking up the stretch along the left side of your waist. Now, circle your left hand down to the inside of your right leg. Then you'll take that right hand and place it to the outside of your right leg. Now, we're gonna make a little adjustment. Rotate your shoulders towards the right foot. So you're getting an active twist in your spine. Then slowly start to fold down. Even if it's just a little, little bit, that's okay. We wanna rotate the left shoulder forward as you fold down over that right leg. And this is really gonna activate a big stretch across the left side, low back. We really wanna tune into that stretch. Breathe into the sensation and allow yourself to let go and let go and let go until you find your best stretch. Now walk your hands around to the front. Just taking a nice easy journey. Reach your hands out in front of you as you slowly fold forward. Now here, your right toes will kind of want to roll in towards the center. But I invite you to actively rotate your right toes up towards the ceiling. So we are getting an external rotation in the right leg as you fold your heart down towards the earth. And little bonus, extra sensation if you flex your right foot. So you flex your toes up towards the sky. You're gonna really feel the stretch come to life. Beautiful. Let's slowly walk your hands in, press yourself all the way up. Then before we change, step your left hand back, reach the right hand over to your left knee and just press yourself into a nice open twist. So we're twisting away from the right hip. Hug your belly up and in as you rotate your heart around. Nice, good stretch here. Coming back to center, sweep this right leg all the way up and over, stepping your foot down to the outside of your left leg. And you guessed it, we're going right into our seated twist. Hug your right knee in towards that left shoulder until you feel a stretch along that right glute, right? So we wanna hug the knee in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Then you can begin to work a deeper rotation in your spine, really maximizing the twist. For three, two, and one, slowly release, coming back to the front. You can uncross your legs and just come back to your Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose. Soles of the feet together, knees open wide, finding a deep, easy breath. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and extend that left leg out to the side. So just finding your own perfect position. We want to open that left leg enough that you start to feel the stretch already, just right here in the seat. Then again, we want to aim to keep the left toes pointing up towards the sky. And we'll begin to arc your right arm up and over. 
reaching through your right fingertips. Ooh, I actually feel that in my right shoulder today. I guess my shoulder's a little tight, right? So especially when you extend your right arm and reach through your fingertips, that is really going to help move the stretch into the shoulder, even down along the rib cage as you stretch into the right side waist. So finding your best stretch, just finding your own edge and we'll slowly rotate the right fingertips down towards the left side and step that left hand to the outside of the left leg. Now we want to square your shoulders. So we got to rotate the rib cage, rotating twist towards the left leg. And it happens in degrees. Okay. So don't worry about being perfect. Just working in that direction, squaring the shoulders towards the left, and then see if you have a little more room to take it into a little bit of a fold. Again, this is going to really access a deep stretch across the entire right side, low back. Breathe into the feeling, whatever arises here. Notice what you feel. Say yes to the journey. And then we'll slowly begin to walk your hands around to the front. Take it a little at a time. No sudden, fast, jerky movements. Then again, Keep the left toes rotating up. That's an external rotation in the left thigh. Then little by little, release the weight of your head, your shoulders, your spine, folding forward, working into that left hip as you breathe slow and deep. and gently walk your hands back in, pressing yourself up to center, then reach that left hand over to your right knee. Right fingertips reach back as you maneuver into your twist. Remember to lift through the belly, lift through your spine as you work into the twist taking it one deep breath at a time and slowly release back to the front and we'll sweep your left leg all the way over, stepping your foot to the outside of that right leg. Then we want to grab that left knee, hug it in, just give it that good deep squeeze. So you should already start to feel the hip stretching. Then we can work a little deeper into the twist, taking the stretch further up your spine. One breath at a time. Enjoy the journey. Getting super present with yourself and the experience of the pose. And slowly make your way back around to the front. Gently uncross that left leg. We'll come back to our bound angle pose one more time here. Taking some deep breaths as you settle into the shape. Just notice the difference. Notice how this feels compared to when we first began. Take a deep breath in as you extend up through your spine, lift and grow tall. Then exhale slowly. Let's just fold forward one more time. Again, pay special attention. Notice how this might feel different than when we first entered into this shape. Maybe you have a little bit more freedom. Maybe you have a little bit more space. Allow yourself to deeply relax.
We'll slowly unwind. Take it easy. Stacking one vertebrae on top of the other. Unroll your spine, coming to a nice, easy seat. Good, then grab onto your knees, close your legs together like a book. Wrap your arms around your shins and give yourself a little squeeze, feeling so much gratitude. Isn't it wonderful to have a body? Mm. Let's go ahead and come onto our hands and knees, coming to a little tabletop position. And as you come into this tabletop, if you need some cushion, you can bring a blanket or some extra padding underneath your knees, then we're gonna move and mobilize the spine. If you love cat and cow, you can begin to work your cat and cow. But if you wanna just have some freedom here, free flow, just let yourself begin to move your spine rolling your head, your hips, your ribs, just mobilizing your spine in any way that feels good right now. Listen to your body. Let your body tell you what it wants. Stay connected to your breath as you explore. And we'll slowly, organically begin to resolve your movement, gently finding your way back to neutral. You can find your own way there. Ah, and coming back into your tabletop, I want you to make, make sure you have a really strong shape here. So I like to tuck the toes under, that gives a little more stability into your legs. Then spread your fingertips wide apart so your hands are active and strong, really supporting you here. Then even lift and lengthen through your belly, right? Gravity just wants to pull us down. See if you can Find that sense of length in your spine and an active lift in your core, extending out through the crown of your head, really strong tabletop. Now shift your weight into that left leg and extend your right leg up and back behind you. Flex your toes, tone the strength of that leg, feeling powerful here. Then as you take your next inhale, Lift your heart and lift your heel, extending through the front body. Then as you exhale, we're gonna draw your knee towards your chest, curl your chin in, round your spine, and see if you could maybe tap your knee to your forehead. Then we'll inhale and extend it back. Lift your heart, lift your heel, Keep your core engaged as you exhale and curl it in. Squeezing into core center, we round your spine deeply. One more time, inhale and lift, extending, reaching, feeling your body grow so long. Then we'll exhale and curl it in, toning through the core. Round your spine, stretch. Then we'll reach your right toes to the back edge of your mat. You can touch your toes down at the very back of your mat, keeping that right leg pretty straight here. Begin to flex your foot, pressing back through your right heel. So we wanna push the right heel back, back, back until you feel a deep stretch across the calf and into the ankle there. Press and stretch. Good, then gently release your right knee back to neutral. We're gonna take some nice big circles with your body here. Mobilizing your hips, your shoulders, your knees and your wrists. And you can come back to center. 
And if you ever need to take a break, let your hands rest. You can always just shake it out, okay? You know, like bearing weight in the hands, definitely you'll feel it in the forearms, the wrists, right? So give yourself breaks as needed. Then we're going to prepare to work on the other side. So coming back to that really mindful and strong tabletop position, shift your weight into your right knee so you can extend and lift through the left leg. Tone that left leg really straight and strong and notice that there's maybe a desire to sink into gravity. Keep it lifted, keep it tight, keep it toned. We'll inhale, lift, heart and heel, stretching through your front body. Then exhale and curl it in, rounding your spine. Draw your belly button up towards the sky as you tuck it in nice and tight. Then inhale and lift. Nice big breath in as you lift your heart and lift your heel and exhale and curl it in. Squeeze as you stretch and inhale and lift. One more round. Nice big breath all the way to the top and then exhale, curling it in all the way to the bottom of the breath. Then we'll extend your left leg, reaching your toes to the back edge of your mat. Then again, we're gonna flex through that left foot, reaching your left heel back, 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 back. Really drive the left heel towards the back until you feel that powerful stretch awakening across the back of your calf. Should feel pretty good. Then we'll slowly release gently floating your left knee back to neutral and we can make some big circles again going the other way if you can remember which way you went first <laughs> you can make some circles the other way it doesn't matter too much as long as it feels good and when you're ready we'll come back to center and i want you to bring your forearms down onto your mat. So you can bring your hands together in front of you, even interlace your fingers here, but make sure your elbows aren't too wide, right? You wanna have the elbows like shoulder width apart. Okay, then curling your toes under again, we're gonna gently lift your hips. It's okay if your legs don't go straight, they don't have to. The legs can be buoyant kind of bouncy. We're gonna work the chest and shoulders here now. So I want you to press your heart, your chest towards your thighs. So you can relax your head down, reaching your chest towards your legs until you feel a big stretch into your shoulders. That's the one. We wanna open up chest and shoulders. Then lift your gaze towards your hands and reach your heart over your thumbs. Good work. Press it back, reaching your heart towards your thighs. Open through the chest and shoulders. And come back forward, lifting your gaze. Reach your heart towards your hands. Press those forearms into the earth. Then reach the hips back. Open your chest and shoulders, reaching your heart towards your legs. And one more time, lift your gaze towards your hands. Open your heart, chest over the thumbs. Then press it back. Heart open. Good work. Softly lower your knees towards the earth. Walk your hands in and press yourself up to a kneeling pose. You guys feeling pretty good? You feeling pretty warmed up by now? Oh yeah. <laughs> We're gonna open through the front body a little bit more, getting into some back bending, just nice and easy. Reach your right hand to the right knee. As you inhale your breath, we're gonna open your heart towards the sky 
extending your left arm back. Inhale. Then as you exhale, round your body forward, coming all the way around. You'll bring your left hand to your left heel. Then as you inhale, you'll open your heart, reaching the right arm back, finding your back bend. Exhale, making that transition from one side to the other. Then inhale as you come into the pose. Exhale to gently round. So we're just finding a nice easy flow here and everyone might be on a slightly different rhythm. We want to work according to the flow of your breath and let your movement be slow and intentional. So we're not doing anything jerky, nothing sudden, nothing that could potentially hurt you. Just nice and easy, gentle movement as you go. Then when you complete this last cycle on both sides, we'll come together and meet in child's pose. So let your journey be organic, finding your way down, hips to heels, forehead to the earth, just letting your arms reach and extend out in front of you. And take a couple more breaths right here. Breathing into your back body. Massaging your body with your breath. And we're going to start to find your way into downward facing dog. So again, let your journey be natural and organic. Finding your own way into the shape. There's no right way or wrong way to get there. All paths lead to down dog. <laughs> As you begin to make your way into your pose, you can pedal out your feet a little bit, just gently walking your dog, stretching into the backs of your legs, awakening through your chest and shoulders. Just explore what is available for you today. And in your own time, you can begin to settle into the shape, finding yourself fully energized, fully aware, present inside the shape. Take a full deep breath in and exhale a full deep breath out. And on your next inhale, we're going to lift that right leg up towards the sky. And then I want you to just roll your right leg around in the hip socket. So really let yourself explore like the full range of motion. You can get really wild with it. See how much can your hip open? How much mobility do you have? Circling that right leg around and you can circle it in the other direction. So again, no right way, no wrong way. This is just an exploration of your own body. Then we're gonna open it up into a revolved tripod. So you'll open your right hip, reach your right knee up, up, up towards the sky. So open the hips and reach the right knee up. Yeah. So your right knee should be the top of your pose. Yeah. Beautiful work, everyone. We're going to step that right foot forward between your hands. If you can, if your right foot doesn't make it all the way on its own, you can grab your ankle and just gently help it out. You can also scooch, scooch, scooch the left toes back if you need. So you wanna have a nice big lunge, plenty of space on your mat. Then let's lower your left knee down to the mat. Shift your weight forward into the right foot 
as you lift up your heart and chest. So extend up through the crown of your head as you charge your weight forward into that right foot. Give yourself a deep, juicy stretch across your right uh, left hip flexor. Yes, then we're gonna guide your hips back, reaching your hips over your left knee, extending through the right leg. Now you don't have to straighten your right leg to get a stretch. As soon as you start to feel the hamstrings opening up, you're there, that's the work, right? Sometimes people sink their hips way down and it's like you kind of miss the stretch. Instead, think about lifting up your chest and maybe even tipping your tailbone up towards the sky as you draw your sitting bones back, you're really gonna feel the stretch in your hamstring, yeah? Let's open your right fingertips to the sky, revolving through your shape. Try to stack your right shoulder over the left, like really working to bring it into alignment. You might even turn your gaze up towards the thumb Hug your belly up and in and stay present to the stretch, right? This is where we wanna like check out. We wanna go on a mental vacation, but just let yourself be here with the stretch. Good work, good work, you got it. I'm gonna slowly release. This time I'll have you bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot and Plant your right foot back down on the mat, shifting your weight forward back into the lunge. And then slowly begin to bend your elbows, letting your heart soften down towards the earth. You may play with bringing your forearms down onto the floor. If you're not that open today, it's okay. You can just bend your elbows and work on bringing your chest down. We just have options as you work slowly, deeper and deeper into the pose. So we're getting a really juicy lizard pose here, opening into the inner hips and inner thighs. Take another deep breath in and a full deep breath out. And you can press yourself back up and we're gonna keep that right hand to the inside of your foot. Then rotate your left knee 90 degrees. So you are actually rotating your hips towards the left side. Okay, so now your right arm and your right shin are like hugging each other. It's like a magnet. Okay, so we keep those glued together. Then slowly begin to open your heart towards the left stacking that left shoulder over the right shoulder, we can begin to reach your left arm up towards the sky. So we're getting a deep inner thigh stretch. You can take it deeper by lunging the right knee forward even more, but keep rotating through the rib cage, rotating your heart open for three, two, one. Good work. Plant your hands back down onto the mat, Rotate your left knee back to its place. You can bring your right hand back to its place. And then curl, let's see, how am I gonna take you there? We're gonna draw your hips back, coming back to the half split. Mm -hmm, that's the one. And then this time, walk your right foot across your midline over towards the left side of the mat. Then slowly fold your heart down over that right leg. We're getting into the IT band and the lateral hamstring. What a lot of people don't realize is that your hamstrings are actually a group of muscles. And there's three that go right side by side, one in the middle and one towards the inside and one towards the outside. So in this stretch, we're stretching that external, that lateral hamstring. Really good stretch for opening up the hips and the low back. 
then lift up your heart from here, extending your spine. We're gonna keep that right foot where it is and begin to shift your weight forward, bending into that right knee. We wanna slowly make your way into a pigeon pose. So shifting forward and feel free to take your time because let's be real, pigeon pose is like a real big pose. <laughs> it's a lot. There's a lot happening in this shape and it is a very, um, you know, it's just not a very forgiving pose. <laughs> like once you're in it, you are in it. So we want to breathe. <sighs> saying yes to the experience, saying yes to the stretch, one deep breath at a time. And if you like to fold forward in your pigeon pose, you can certainly do that. For me, I like to stay upright because ah, it helps me to ground like deeper into the hip. But this is your practice. It's your day. So find your best shape, however it feels good to you. Yes. Okay, then we are going to begin to journey back to downward facing dog. So again, it's totally up to you. Find your own organic, natural journey there. I'm gonna place my hands back down on the mat with the back toes curling under and pressing the hips up and back. You could even swirl your right leg around again. Whatever feels good as you begin to find your way back into your downward facing dog. Taking it one breath at a time as you settle back into your shape. And as you ground into your pose, take a full round of breath here. Notice the difference from one side to the other. <sighs> and when you feel ready to get into it, we'll begin to explore that left side. See what happens. Take an inhale and extend your left leg up and then free form, roll that left hip around in the socket. Notice the range of motion. Again, there's no right way or wrong way to do this. Just let yourself explore. But really the one is a challenge is to like really explore the full range of motion, like how much freedom can you find in that left hip? Okay, then once you've had some time to thoroughly explore the landscape, you're going to begin to make your way into your revolved tripod. So that left knee is bent, your heel is kicking down towards your hips. Then I want you to just charge that left knee up, 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 up towards the sky. So really reaching the left knee up as high as you can. It's like the chimney on your house. Beautiful. And we'll slowly start to find your way to the lunge, drawing that left knee forward. Remember, you can always just grab onto your ankle or make any of those little micro adjustments that you need. So you set yourself up in a good lunge, right? Make it nice and neat. And then once you're in position, we'll lower your right knee down. Now send your weight forward into that left foot, really lengthening across the front of your right quad. Then lift your heart and extend up through the crown of your head to maximize that stretch in your hip flexor. Nice big stretch for three, two, and one. And slowly guide your hips back, making your way into that half split. So again, we're extending through your left knee, but it doesn't have to go all the way straight, right? Even if there's a little micro bend in the knee, as long as you feel that hamstring stretch, you're there, you're doing what you gotta do. And then you can play around with intensifying the stretch 
by lifting up your chest and drawing the tailbone back. Wow, really brings the stretch to life. It's like prisma color. It's like brightening up the colors. <laughs> so it's like, hello, yes, please. All right, we're gonna take it one shade brighter <laughs> by opening your left fingertips up towards the sky. Oh yes, working into that rotation. We try to stack your left shoulder over the right shoulder. So you should feel like a really juicy stretch in your spine as you work into that twist. And yes, we are really feeling that lateral part of the left leg down the IT band, maybe even across the back of your hip. Stretch, stretch, stretch for three, two, one. Slowly release back to center, floating your left hand down. We're going to shift your weight forward, coming back into the lunge, and you can bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot. Then we'll softly bend into your elbows, gently melting your heart towards the earth little by little. And it's okay to keep your hands down. It's okay to just bend the elbows, but eventually, you might want to bring your forearms onto the mat, letting yourself get a little bit deeper. But again, we just want to take it one deep, mindful breath at a time. Enjoying the sensation. Be present for the experience. Finding your yes in the stretch. Go ahead and give yourself one more full round of breath, a deep breath all the way in and all the way out. And slowly press yourself back up into that lunge, keeping your left hand to the inside of the left foot. We're just gonna rotate your right knee. 90 degrees on your mat. So we open the hips towards the right side. Now the left arm and the left shin are glued together. And this is helpful because sometimes the left knee wants to collapse in towards center. We're gonna use that left arm to keep everything in alignment. Beautiful. Then you can open your right fingertips to the sky. Really think about stacking the shoulders and you can get a little more juice by lunging deeper into the left leg. But that's only if you need it, only if you want it. That's how you can get more out of it. But we're really working on that rotation of the ribs, opening your heart towards the right side, pressing that left knee open, open, so we get that inner hip and thigh stretching open. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Slowly release your right hand down, nice and easy. Rotate the right knee back to its original position. Then we'll just go ahead and glide your hips back, extending the left leg. And this time you walk your left foot over to that right side. Oh yes, and again, your left knee may not go all the way straight. If it's mostly straight and you're getting a stretch, that's fine. Some people are very flexible, so the leg is super straight. But just don't judge yourself along the way. Just feel it and be like, okay, I'm feeling. <laughs> and that's what we wanna do. We wanna feel and breathe. You got it. As you're ready, you can fold a little deeper, just letting your heart soften down over that left leg. Ah, and savor the experience, right? Even in unpleasant moments, there's still something so wonderful about being able to feel. It's something so wonderful about coming into awareness with your body and with your breath. So let yourself stay present with it. Soak it up. Then we'll slowly lift your heart, lift your head, and 
begin to make your way forward to that pigeon pose. So we're keeping the left foot in place as you shift your weight forward and make whatever little adjustments you need. Like this is a great place to grab your props. You might want blocks under your hands that you can push against your blocks and lift your hips up a little higher. You might want to put a block underneath the left hip, giving you a little support there. So there's lots of ways you can use your props if that feels good. And I encourage you to just find your best variation of this pigeon pose, like however you want to be in the shape. And most importantly, be with your breath. Be present with whatever is coming up. Give it one more full cycle of breath. All the way in and all the way out. And begin to make your journey back to your downward facing dog. Okay, so again, there's no right way, no wrong way to do it. It's all about you in your practice. So let's find our way back into that downward dog just so we can revisit. And notice how it feels different now that we have really taken the time to open up the legs, the hips, the chest, the shoulders. See what's present for you now. Noticing what the journey has given you. And slowly walk your feet forward towards the top of your mat. Just take it one step at a time, okay? A gentle journey to a forward fold. Take a nice moment in this forward fold. Let yourself go deep, relaxing the weight of your head down, down, down. Nice, juicy forward fold. And slowly bend your knees all the way down to the floor. Then roll yourself all the way down onto your back. You can hug your knees into your chest, rocking yourself side to side. Slow down your breathing as you feel yourself beginning to relax. And we're going to take a little happy baby here, reaching your hands between your two knees. You can grab the outer edges of your feet, then slowly start to open the soles of your feet up towards the sky, stacking your ankles over your knees. Use the strength of your hands to gently press your knees down towards the earth. Relaxing through the hips, let it open. Breathe into the stretch for three, two, and one. Then slowly circle your feet down. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together and your knees apart, reclining bound angle pose. Then circle your arms over your head, gently placing one hand into the other as you let your elbows fall open to the sides. This is a wonderful stretch that aids in relaxation, but it also supports the lymphatic and circulatory system. 
And if you are not aware, your lymphatic system is essential for detoxifying your body, for cleansing and purifying your blood. Your lymphatic system also plays an essential role in your immunity. So just feel yourself, feel your body reaping the benefits of this pose, feeling supported in all of the systems of your body. in your own time when you feel ready you can begin to extend your legs out in front of you and slowly circle your arms down by your sides you can also just stay in this reclining bound angle pose, if that's what feels good to you. So listen to your body, listen to your intuition. And as we surrender into these last few moments of our practice, I invite you to find a deep state of relaxed stillness. In a world that glorifies being busy, it can actually become a struggle to be still. So if you find yourself feeling challenged to surrender into stillness, notice that. Notice what arises when you practice stillness. And regardless of whatever comes up for you here, see if you can stay with the stillness. And see where it takes you. Let your breathing be slow and deep. Feel the weight of your body melting into the earth. Slowly 
Begin to deepen your breath. Nice, deep, full inhale. And a full and complete exhale. And slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Gently inviting some movement back into your body. And slowly roll your wrists and your ankles around. And in your own time, you can begin to reach your arms overhead and take a full body stretch. And slowly roll yourself over to the side. And begin to press yourself up into a seat. Just finding your way back. That nice, easy seat where we first began our practice. And just notice how you feel. Physically, mentally, emotionally, bring your hands together at your heart, breathing in a deep sense of gratitude, giving thanks for your body and all of the wonders that it contains, giving thanks for this practice of yoga and all of the lessons that it reveals, and giving thanks to yourself for showing up for the practice. I am so grateful to have the opportunity to practice with you today. Thank you so much for being a part of this community and for blessing me with your practice. I look forward to seeing you on your mat again soon, and I wish you a very blissful and beautiful day. Namaste.